afternoon guys um, welcome to the channel I'm just in a local park here and um, yeah I just thought I'd share the news that uh, I've bought a camper van so let me just uh, stop the recording and let me just flip the camera around yeah here it is I've just got a bit of notes just to make sure I'm playing the right stuff let me just zoom out Oh, I can't zoom out. All right. So this is a 2007 Ford Transit Connect, a 1.8 diesel with a turbo, short wheelbase. Um, 130,000 miles on the clock, and uh, got it for 1,700 quid, which is not bad at all. But uh, let's do a walk around so you guys can see what's happening. Driver's side. Excuse the noise of the plane when they Heathrow. Yeah, so just to pop into the driver's side, pretty basic. It's a very basic bulk standard van. Manual windows. It's a five speed. And um, yeah, no AC, but otherwise everything looks good in pretty decent condition. Uh, for a 2007 Transit only two seats here paintwork is in decent condition um, but the previous owner did throw in some uh, valeting kit uh, so I'll definitely be doing that now here's a surprise this is already a partially built camper van. Let me zoom back a bit. So um, apparently this has got the insulation inside. Not sure if you can see that. It's got a bit of insulation there you can see. Uh, it's got the paneling. This bed came with it. Basically everything you see here came with the van. I've not added anything to it yet. got a solar charge controller it's got an inverter and battery but I've got to figure out how big they are so pretty good to start off with Come to the side and you can see this bed folds in multiple directions it looks like but pretty nice setup um, I am going to kind of take off everything inside this van and I'll have to see what's going on in terms of the insulation, is it vapor barrier properly and also the electrics. But otherwise I think a pretty decent van uh, to start van life and I'm just going to check my notes and see what's what. Oh yes and I'm going to show you the little solar up on top there you go i don't know how big that is but um yeah i'll check it out i'll see if i can find out so probably space for another two maybe two big solar panels i need to put a roof in that's for sure so it's a couple of things that i've noticed with the van uh, so the paint needs some work and on the MOT, uh, there was an advisory for corroded coal springs, both front of them. So I'll be replacing that by myself. So let me just sit inside the van, then we can have more of a chat. All right, guys, back in the van. Uh, just parked up uh, sensibly. And uh, now I think, um, yeah, just... I thought I'd describe a little bit about the van and uh, what's what. So there's a couple of issues that need to be addressed. Um, like as I mentioned before, the paintwork uh, could do with um, kind of a decent go over. 
and I've got some tools that the previous owner gave me um, so I'm looking forward to that that should be a, a cool job um, the coil springs need to be replaced um, there's some rust spots around the van uh, under the van as well and I'm hoping they're just surface surface rust rather than you know the rust eating uh, into the metal so hopefully um, yeah, just with a wire brush or, or with a, a wire brush on a drill I can just take off the surface rust uh, paint it and and that should be good um, made some notes what else coil springs rust so and then just a few bits and bobs um, some plastic trim here and there missing and um, probably I think the plastic trim around the outside of the car could do with a um, some kind of restoration I don't know if you get some sprays or some paint that you could put on the on the plastic itself um, so yeah stuff like that um, I'm just thinking about which way the bed will go um, I'm 5 foot 11 so if I build the bed up too high I'll have to kind of crouch down when I'm sitting or bend over when I'm sitting um, just to kind of relax which is not right and it won't be good for my back anyway I sit all day on a computer chair so that won't help um, but that will mean that I get a lot of storage space under the bed however if I build it lower I can sit more nicely but I lose storage space so let's see what's happening uh, let's see what happens actually um, what else yeah so one one thing that happened was when I was driving home the uh, what do we call it the drive train warning light on the dashboard popped up um, basically a cog with I think if I'm not mistaken an exclamation mark um, then sometime later I'm talking like a day or two later um, the engine management light came on I use this tool here so this is the OBD2 scanner uh, cost me how much I actually wrote it down £22.99 so well worth the investment um, to at least check initially what's wrong with your car van so it gave me a P code actually uh, it's a P0490 which basically uh, points to the EGR valve now there could be a few things I could do to fix that problem uh, there's a pin that's inside the EGR valve I could um, replace that and I put an order in one for a pin uh, and boy are they difficult to come by but I did find one available on eBay the only one um, so I've ordered that that should be here in two weeks roughly <laughs> um, I'm hoping it's not that I'm hoping I just need to clean it uh, so I'll open up a part of the EGR valve it actually splits in two when you take the bolts off and um, I'm hoping it's just carbon deposits and I can clean it out with some WD-40 so um, yeah I'll just kind of I'll make a video on that um, as and when I do it um, yeah I think that's about it hopefully nothing else comes up uh, but if it does um, you know we'll just we'll just go step by step and it'll be a good learning process for me because I'm not a mechanic even though I love the mechanics of a car and I love watching YouTube videos on people fixing up cars from salvage yards and stuff but um, I'm really not mechanically minded so it will be a good experience for me to change the coils out uh, to do an oil change to do a service on the car uh, do all this EGR business so let's see how it goes um, it should be pretty cool but um, yeah I've been talking on for too long and I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense um, but hopefully um, you know essentially the plan is for this van to be my first step into van life um, not necessarily full-time I, I want to do a part-time to begin with uh, just with you know me being new to it and family commitments and general stuff in life I can't do full-time so definitely um, part-time my first step into van life let's see how it goes and um, I think I'll like it but of course let's have a go at it first so I'll leave you guys there for now um, if the walkthrough hasn't been that in-depth let me know I will do another van tour 
I'm just parked up somewhere where people are going walking across and I'm just a bit paranoid of people looking into the van and looking at me and thinking what's this guy doing talking to the phone walking around so um yeah let's see how it goes so thank you guys um for watching this video uh, obviously when i release it i'll have zero subscribers however uh in time if if i get any subscribers then you know thanks for putting the time aside to watch this and um yeah i'll, I'll, I'll probably the next video is going to be me um probably doing the strip and check like i mentioned taking everything off the back seeing what's going on um so i think i'll enjoy that and i think that should be a cool video thank you guys